Whoa, what a beautiful morning. I have a feeling we're gonna have a beautiful day. There is not a single cloud in the sky. When I was coming here as a kid with my family, first thing in the morning, I would always open the window and check out these fields. Because if I was lucky, I could spot deers eating the grass. And if I was even more lucky, they were baby deers. So cute. I haven't washed my hair in seven days. Today's the day we have to do it. I had a full body shower yesterday evening, so now I'm too lazy to do it again. So do you ever wash your hair to just put your head in the tub like this? If you guys are wondering what is this change of scenery, where the hell are you, Sara? Well, I am in the Alps. This is my family's home in the Alps and I'm spending a day here. I normally never do my makeup when I'm up here in the mountains, but today is a special day because you guys are visiting. We need to look presentable. It's almost 10 o'clock and I haven't had my breakfast yet. I'm super hungry. We gotta do something about it. Let's speed up. I need to buy a sharpener for this lip crayon as soon as possible because this it's just not the vibe. Okay, the makeup is done. Let's sort out the breakfast. So the breakfast today is not just to open up a package and you're eating. It's a little bit more complicated because I'm going to make my breakfast from only the things that I can find here on the veggie garden. I got to change the shoes because the grass is still a bit wet. Now I'm just going to go grab the basket and we can go veggie picking. We got the basket, we got the boots, let's see what veggies we can find. I got the zucchini, I got the carrots, I got the parsley. Guess what we're making? The zucchini soup. I know this coconut milk is not from our garden but I'm gonna add it to the soup anyway because it will just make it way more yummy. It is 11 o'clock I am starving let's see what we've cooked. I definitely forgot to add salt but other than that delicious. I still have a lot more soup left for the next few days so I'm gonna add salt there but here I'm just gonna eat it it's been too long it's almost lunch time I need my breakfast now. Growing your own fruits and veggies is seriously the best. I mean, it is a lot of work, but the reward, priceless. You know what you're eating, it is super healthy, and you just learn to appreciate food a lot more. Because if you just buy something at the supermarket, you throw it on your plate, it's just super easy to take things for granted. Making and growing food is hard, so we need to appreciate that. I'm now gonna leave for a little morning walk, but before I leave, I'm gonna spray my legs with this repellent because I don't wanna catch any ticks. Because this path goes a little bit through the woods, so you can catch a tick. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but you know those little bugs that get attached to your skin, they suck the blood and they carry diseases? Yeah, they're not fun. I'm so grateful that where I live in Portugal, we don't have any ticks and snakes. And bears, for that matter. Because here in the woods around, bears definitely live, but they are of course afraid of people, so they don't come too close to the 
villages. There's not much probability that you're gonna meet a bear, is what I'm trying to say, but it can happen. Guys, look at this nature. It is awesome. Look who I have just met. Hello. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at them. Yeah, hi, you're so pretty. Oh, they're so cute. Hey, you guys. Wow, that was a good sound. That was a beautiful sound. Oh my gosh, you guys, they are so adorable. Yeah, hi, you look at you. You're the boss, right, with the bell. If that wasn't the cutest thing ever, they're so sweet. And when they're born, when they're still babies, I just want to adopt one. I don't know if you guys can see, but down there there's a waterfall and we're gonna check it out. In the summer, there's quite a bit of tourists here, but I can see that there's no car parked. So maybe we'll even get the waterfall all for ourselves. That would be perfect. It's funny how the closer to the water you get, the colder the air is. I'm already a little bit freezing. I'm gonna have to be super quick so I don't catch a cold or something because maybe I'm a bit underdressed in these shorts. We're getting super close. Can you hear the water? Uh oh. Wow, I am speechless. I mean, you guys, it doesn't get prettier than this. This is. Wow. How could it be cool having the entire waterfall just for myself? This has been absolutely magical. I've probably spent one hour trying to make a thumbnail. I don't know if I succeeded and if I don't end up using the thumbnail, I'm at least gonna pop some of the pictures on the screen right now so that this one hour of work didn't go completely to waste. I was freezing quite a bit down there and so I'm gonna go up as quick as I can to try to get some sun. Let's go. Maybe I should run. <laughs> Who are you fooling, Sara? You cannot run uphill. You're absolutely way too unfit for that. We're just gonna walk. Oh, I'm dying. I need to start training. I'm so out of shape. Whew. But I was so lucky because the entire time when I was trying to make a thumbnail, looking like a complete bimbo, there were absolutely no people there. And when I decided, okay, Sara, that's enough. If you haven't got a thumbnail now, you're not gonna have it in half an hour either. And when I said that, in that moment, three people came. So I was lucky. It has gotten super warm, so I had to put on some short sleeves and now it's time to prepare our lunch. I do have some leftovers from yesterday, but I still wanna pick up some fresh veggies and cook them. So let's grab the basket and visit the veggie patch again. I am looking where I step because I'm afraid of snakes. Okay, you guys, I know this veggie patch looks rough, but trust me, we can find a lot of vegetables here. We'll just have to dig a little bit between the weeds and you'll see. I can definitely see some zucchinis in here. If you're wondering why is this thing here, I know it's it's not the most aesthetically pleasing. But we're having a constant fight. Who's gonna eat the veggies? Us or the deer? So in order to make their path to the veggies a little bit harder and to try to scare them a little bit, my father had to put this thing on. It's like, caution, deer, do not approach. We got the beans, now I'm gonna look for a few more veggies on the other veggie patch. Let's see what we find. Here we have some arugula, chicory, and for the first time ever, I saw Brussels sprouts when I was home this May. You can see some tiny Brussels sprouts already growing. Then there's cucumbers, lots of herbs like mint and sage.
Right, now I got everything. The beans, the chard, the carrots. Let's make the lunch. I'm first going to cut the stems of the beans and then I'm gonna cook them. Now that my lunch is cooking, I was thinking, how about I show you a quick little tour of this summer house in the Alps? I got a feeling you would love that very much. You walk in, you have the stairs into the basement, you go a bit further and you have one bathroom, very cute. Hello! When you step in, you have this pottery fireplace. I don't know how this thing is called. We got the kitchen. On the other side, we have the dining table and the living room. And now let's go upstairs. And welcome into my room. Or well, it's mine and my brother's room. Even though I have an older brother, I still remember that I had the privilege to choose where I wanted to sleep, on top or below. And of course, I chose the top like the cool kids. Here you can clearly see that my favorite toys growing up were stuffed animals. They were always on my wish list for birthday, for Christmas. If you gave me a stuffed animals, you just couldn't miss. I was happy. I got this tiger for Christmas. This little guy was the present from my father's trip to the US. This one was my boyfriend's first present. I got this one at the fair. And more stuff is that I got from my relatives for my birthday. When I was super young, probably seven to 10, we visited a pottery workshop and the man working there was was so kind and gave me this. And you know what is it? It makes the sound of an owl. Check this out. Cool, huh? Okay, we also need to address this thing. When I was about 19, 20 years old, I used to be a huge fan of football club Barcelona. I literally went to watch two football games by myself, first time being in Barcelona, first time being in a big city. I was kind of crazy. But yeah, so I painted this thing myself, so I already had some DIYer in me. You see, here we have my grandma's room, super cute. This is my parents' room and the bathroom, which you have already seen. Here is another little balcony and there's a few more beds up there right under the roof. And that's it for the quick home tour. The lunch is almost cooked. I'm so hungry and so excited to eat. Finally, lunch time. This honestly looks so delicious. I'm so excited to dig in. I decided to sit outside under this roof so I'm not gonna have the sun shining into my face and I can enjoy the meal thoroughly. Mm. You guys know I love carrots, but homegrown carrots are just superior. Also, I'm sorry about the plane noises all the time here. There's a little airport and they're flying those smaller planes and they're just doing it all the time. I think it's a touristy thing. It would be kind of fun if I would go flying today and took you guys along. But you wish, because I'm afraid of flying even with a big plane and that much more with a smaller plane. So that's a no-go. Sorry. Mm. The Swiss chart, mm. so good. It's kind of difficult to believe that these veggies were just growing in the soil a few hours before and now I'm eating them. Kind of cool. You know, sometimes the upper part of your mouth gets kind of swollen and it's just super painful when you eat, especially if you're eating something a bit harder. Does that ever happen to you? I feel like it happens to me when my immunity kind of drops. Do you want to diagnose me what I have? I mean, it usually lasts only for a few days, but it's kind of annoying. Have you ever had this thing too or am I the only one? Let's also taste test the green beans. Mmm. I cook these babies perfectly. This whole lunch, 10 out of 10. For the dessert, I'm gonna have probably my favorite chocolate in the world. This is a big statement because I am a big chocolate fan, especially dark chocolate. It's basically the only chocolate that I would eat. This one has only three ingredients, hazelnuts, cocoa beans, and coconut sugar. And it is just so yummy. It is produced by this Slovenian brand called 20 Chocolate. Good job, guys. This chocolate is life. Every time I come home to Slovenia, I have to have it at least once or maybe five times or maybe even more. You guys, this is the best moment of the day. This is how it looks like. It is just this thick chocolate with hazelnuts, but since it is so smooth and creamy, it's not too much at all. I have been waiting for this moment since May. It's been half a year since I had this one.
I wish you guys could taste this. I hope they're exporting this deliciousness all over the world because the world deserves this. Since I have to be careful regarding how much sugar I consume, I still love my 99% chocolate because this is 70%. So this has a bit more sugar. But when I'm home, when I have access to this thing, I'm willing to cheat a little. I hope the bad bugs in my tummy don't get too excited because this is just for today, okay? And maybe one tomorrow and the next day. No, 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 I'm kidding. I mean, you can totally have chocolate every day. It's just, I'm in this period of my life where I have to be a bit more restrictive. You guys know, I always talk about it. I'm now just going to enjoy this without any guilt. This is like Nutella, even better than Nutella, and it only has three ingredients. How? I got this coloring book from my friends like five years ago. I have it in a drawer in my room and every time I get here I color at least for a little while. This coloring book is huge so I'll probably still be coloring it when I'm 90 years old if I ever get there. I'm thinking to now take a little walk down the garden and see what fruits are growing right now. Maybe we can pick something, maybe we can try something. Sounds fun to me. Here we have some blackberries, they look yummy, although we need to wait a little bit because they have to be black and now the majority is still red. Let's see if I can find one that is ripe but not overly ripe. Maybe this one. Oopsies. Yeah, I'm trying this one. Okay. No! There's wasps! Go away. Go. Show. Uh, let me eat my raspberry. Lovely. Right next to the blackberries we have the grapes. They still look a bit green, maybe they need a couple of weeks, but I'm gonna try one anyway. I'm gonna try to pick the yellowest one from the bunch. I think this one looks promising. There we go. These are not sour at all. For my taste they're perfectly ripe, I'm gonna eat more later. It has just started raining, so I'm gonna wait a little bit and continue my fruit picking tour after. The rain has stopped for now, so we can continue our tour towards the chestnut. I mean, check this out. This tree is just insanely awesome. There's just so many giant chestnuts up here and they look so pretty. They're like Christmas ornaments, aren't they? When the chestnuts get a bit brownish like this one here, it means that they are ripe enough. So I think we're gonna pick some later and and maybe cook them and try them out. Why not? I just love this time of the year. There's so many fruits growing. People are picking them, preserving them, making jams, preparing for the winter. It is just a great time to be alive. You know how I always say every season is beautiful and it truly is. Like spring is amazing, everything's blooming, autumn gorgeous, summer always a lot of fun, and winter with Christmas and snow. What do you want more? Ooh, check this out. Do you know what is this? It's a walnut. And right behind me is a walnut tree and there is plenty of walnuts on it. But it's still a bit early. I think walnuts will be ready to be picked in about a month. But this little guy was too excited and he decided to fall down before everyone else. I've definitely stepped a bit too violently on this poor little walnut but still managed to save some pieces. I need to make another trip back home in a month because all those walnuts and so tasty. I need to be here when it's time to pick them. Looks like we're gonna have a ton of walnuts this year because there's like seven or eight trees full of them. Check it out, there's a bunch of walnuts up there. A walnut, a walnut, a walnut, a walnut, a walnut here, a walnut there, and another walnut. Whoa, this is a real walnut kingdom. Looks like my family is a big fan of walnuts. Now let's continue our way towards the apples. I think I'm also gonna pick some. I'm being super careful because I'm kind of terrified of snakes. If you see a snake, guys, tell me to watch out. There we go, we made it to the apple tree, but this is not the only one. We have a few of them. We have these green ones. They're supposed to get yellow though. Oh my gosh, I just witnessed these crazy big wasps fighting for an apple. I think we need to run. Can you see? There is this giant wasp. It is seriously ginormous. Okay, bye. Time to back off. Here we have these red apples and another giant wasp feasting on them. I think we have one more apple. Let's go find it. I can see it right there. We definitely don't have as many apples as walnuts, but there'll be enough to try. Oh, I got one already on the ground and she looks so pretty. Like, Look at that. A perfect little apple. This is how apples should look like. Not those big giant apples we buy at the supermarket. These are organic, the most cleanest apples I could ever find. So I'm just gonna bite in. Mmm. 
so flipping good and not dry at all a little bit soury but i like that because i like sour things and at the same time very sweet great apples man i just love this going for a stroll down the garden picking these delicious treasures of nature so precious since this whole day was pretty much evolving around food i think it's time to pick some chestnuts cook them and test them out yep that's what we're doing The chestnuts are cooked and I wanted to try one where else than in a company of a chestnut tree. I'm so excited. Mm. This is a real taste of autumn. I feel like I haven't done anything else but eating the whole day. Oh well, I'm not complaining. Guys, you know when I was talking about the snakes? Look what I found! A real snake skin! A giant snake skin! See, here is the head, here we got the tail. Oh my gosh! Look how big this thing is! I hope I never cross paths with this lady. Check out this giant spaghetti squash that I've just picked. I'm gonna cut it, bake it and make spaghetti out of it. It's gonna be a great lunch for the rest of the week. I wanted to show you these homemade jams that my family's made. One is made from apricots and the other one from plums. Check out those rich, vibrant colors. You cannot buy these things in store. For dinner I'm having some avocado, some raw cheese and with a little bit of olive oil on the cheese or shall we say a lot. This thing is a soft cow's cheese made literally a few days ago from a local farmer so I'm excited to try it. Mm. It is very soft, very mild, a little bit rubbery. I must say I do prefer goat cheese but this thing is not bad either. These soft cheeses with avocado and a little bit of olive oil were literally my favorite dinner lately. It's quick, it's easy, nutritious, delicious, yeah. As a little dinner dessert, I'm gonna have some coconut yogurt and raspberries. I absolutely adore this coconut yogurt and when I come home, I'm eating it every single day. Half a packet each day. It's a given. I really hope they start selling it in Portugal soon. That would be awesome. This one is super yummy and also not ridiculously expensive as the one we have in Portugal. So please, my friend, come to Portugal soon. It started raining a little bit, so I moved myself under this little roof and I'm gonna eat my yogurt here. Mmm, this is so tasty. Unfortunately, I don't have fresh raspberries, even though they are growing around here. And these are frozen ones, but they're still yums. I wish I could have some granola with this, but mostly granolas are made from grains and nuts and seeds and all those things are just not friends with my tummy, so raspberries will have to do. Are you guys more mountain or seaside kind of people? I've always considered myself a mountain girl because if it is too hot outside, I just cannot thrive. I get hot, I get sweaty, aka I get annoyed. So I've always preferred the mountain summers. Cause look at that, what's not to love? I feel like here in the mountains, the air is so clean, everything is so fresh. I just love it. Although let's be real, the mountain winters can be pretty harsh. Oh, look who we meet again, the sheep gang. I'm getting a bit scared, they're kind of close. Sheep can't bite, right? Mm, this this grass is so yummy, right? Can you hear those funny noises that they make? Like... <laughs> I think the little black sheep loves me the most. She's so cute with a little white patch on top of her head. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 I'm not grass. I'm not food. I'm backing off. Bye bye. See, these are the kind of things you cannot experience by the sea. Hello. Oh no, oh no, oh oh, oh oh. This is the smartest one because she has the bell. All of the sheep are following her. Anyways, I hope you guys had fun hanging out with me today and I will see you very soon. Mwah. Bye.